Hi everybody, this is Create with Chris. Thank you for joining me today and I am going to share with you this wonderful new gadget called the Glitter Duster. And I think you're going to be as impressed with it as I am. It's such a fun tool. I know that you're going to love it. But first let me introduce myself. My name is Chris Hoy. I am decorative painter, designer, owner of Cupboard Distributing, Pixelated Palette Easing, CD Stencils, and the Scrapbook Outlet. So I kind of have my fingers in a lot of different things. Okay, so today I want to share the perks of having at least one of these glitter dusters. This is a fantastic gadget um, that you will use often. It's easy to use easy to master, limits the mess, and the results are just absolutely excellent. Okay, um, it's been a while. I've been, okay, I've been away and I need to switch this out. Okay, I need some technical help here. Okay, there we go. Glitter duster. In case you didn't missed it before, this is the a wonderful tool. Alrighty, so I explained how amazing it is. Let me show you how it works. And I've already got one out of the bag, so you won't have to listen to me rattle the bag. Um, this is the glitter duster. And it has um, a little kind of a arm on it. And you fill the container with the glitter. It's almost like a pump. You pop the arm up and you pump it down. Um, very, very simple. Can you see how the arm pops out? You hear it click. Open, click shut. Great tool. So let me show you how it works. Um, actually, I am gonna open the old one so you can, or the new one. Sorry about the noise. This is where you play pretty music. Alrighty, here it is. Just going to open it up and it's just a regular plastic bottle and you can put in it whatever you want and we'll talk about that in a minute. It has this little arm that pops open like I talked about before and when you press it down I wanted to be sure and see this. Can you, oh here we go, press it down. See how those little wings open up? It's kind of like a digger dam. It goes down in the glitter. You push this down, it's going to Fill that claw up with the glitter and poof it out. Now, if you are like me, every time I use glitter, I have it from head to toe, which is not a bad thing. If you like to sparkle, this is pretty cool. Um, but I always end up making a mess, and I'm kind of tired of cleaning up after myself. And this is one of the biggest issues I have, is trying to keep the glitter where it needs to be. So, let's... Let's get started on how to use this awesome, awesome gadget. Alrighty, so we've got it opened up and we'll just fill it with glitter. Now what kind of glitter do you use? One of my favorite glitters is the Glamour Dust, um, Decorate Glamour Dust. It is really, really nice. It's super fine. That's what I have in this one. Can you see how powdery fine it is? Um, it's just very fluffy, very thin, uh, tiny little particles. Now, because the mechanism in this um, is, is very small, if you go to a bigger chunky glitter, it's going to clog it up. So you need to stick with the fine glitter. I've also used the gold glamour dust. Works just as well. Again, it's super, super fine. And I don't know if you can see that in there. See how pretty that is, just super sparkly and super fine. And even just like that, I'm getting it on my fingers. Okay, another one that I really like is the Platinum, Vintage Platinum. And it, again, is super, super fine. Really a fun project or color to work with. If you want to, uh, everything's kind of vintage now. If you want to go that route, this is just perfect. And you think about I've had a jar, this very same jar, for about five years, four years. 
I, it doesn't even, I use it all the time and it doesn't even look like I use much of it. Same thing for the Glamour Dust. Because it's so fine, it doesn't take a lot of product to make a big impact. So any of this fine glitter, you're going to get your bang for your buck. Alrighty, so we've got the bottle filled. Um, again, you can dump it out and reuse it. But honestly, it, for the price, I just get one bottle for every one of the glitters that I use. That way it's super handy. I'm not sure I would use it if I had to empty it out and refill it every time. Or if you just have one that you use all the time, this is great. So let's find out how to use this. So when you put your Glamour Dust on, you need something to make sure that it's going to adhere to your surface. Now, because I love this beautiful opalescent sheen that the Glamour Dust provides, I always wait until after I have completely finished my project and sealed it before I add my Glamour Dust. I've had other people say, well, they like to seal over top of the Glamour Dust. It kind of locks it in place. Um, I, I've really not had an issue with the gl Glamour Dust glitter kind of coming off after it's finished um, simply because of the product I use to it make it adhere. Now um, to me if you varnish over top of it, if you brush varnish, you're going to move it all around and it's going to be in other places. Um, I'm not real particularly fond of that. Also whenever you varnish over it, it's going to dull it down according to what varnish you use. So I like mine to be super sparkly so that is my very last step after I finish my piece is to put the, the glitter on. No matter what glitter I'm using, I always wait until the very last step. All right, what do you use to adhere the, the Glamour Dust with or the, the varnish? Um, typically, I kind of go with the uh, Starlight Varnish. This is another great DecoArt product. What this is, in simple terms, it's just a low luster, maybe a satin varnish with a sparkle in it. And I don't know if they put this in it or not, but it already has sparkle in it. In my mind, if I want it to sparkle, this is ideal because I'm going to start with a sparkle finish and then add more sparkle to it. It's just going to enhance it all the more. If you don't have this, um, you can use any kind of varnish satin matte gloss. Here's the thing. If you have varnished your surface with satin varnish, then by all means use satin varnish to adhere the Glamour Dust. It's just going to blend in. You know how sometimes you have edges that uh, maybe show or whatever, so that's just going to make it be very uh, consistent with what you're using. I've also used um, decoupage. What is this? Decoupage is just a thin down glue. So this works really well also. Uh, do keep in mind it's going to be thicker than the varnishes. So you want to keep that in mind as well. Even a sealer will work. Anything that's going to help the stick and adhere. So let me show you. I, I picked a little black paper because I thought it might show up better. When you put Glamour Dust on, your option is what I always did before. I had um, paper down and I put my varnish or whatever onto my piece. And then I open my Glamour Dust. It has a little sprinkle hole. And I just kind of dump it out as even as I can. Shake it around and then funnel it back into the bottle. Now that's great, but then I always have a mess here. When I funnel it back in the bottle, I have a mess there. So let me show you what this does. Let's put this somewhere so I don't have a mess here. All right, so here is my, you guys are gonna love this, my glitter duster. I'm gonna open the bottle and then I'm just gonna pump it down like hairspray. I hope you can see this. Let me see if I can move this light a little bit to the back here. Okay, now you'll see what happens when you pump it. It's just a soft, just a real soft mist of glitter. Can you see? Ooh, 
Can you see how that comes out? Look how even that is. Now, I have spread this whole area and I use like a small portion of what I did before when I dumped it from the bottle. What I have found out when I use this, and if I have my medium down there to adhere it to, what taps off is so minimal that I just tap it off in the trash can because there's not enough there to make it worthwhile to funnel back into the bottle. Wow, not only is it easier, but you're gonna economize on your glitter and use so much less. Now, how do you apply the medium? Let's go. I have, I have a stencil and I went ahead and taped it down and um, to make sure I kept the same place. And um, that way I don't have to line it back up. That always takes a little bit of time. I'm just gonna take some of the varnish little bit here. Well, I have to shake it up. This is a brand new bottle. It has that little bit of liquid on top. Alrighty. Here we go. I'm just going to take a little bit of the starlight and I'm just going to swirl over the stencil. And this is a great way to add glitter just in certain places. Just going to get a little bit of that on there and swirl it around. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Okay, now I've got a little bit on there because it stencils there. It's going to stay in place. I'm going to lift it up. I'm just going to poof out my glamour dust. And I'm going to tap the excess off. And I still have a little bit on here from before. Not much left, but can you see? I hope you can pick up the sparkle. Sometimes the camera's a little bit short of picking up sparkle. Okay, there we go. I, it is just so even and perfect. It reminds me of those Christmas cards you get that just have um, a little bit of sparkle applied in certain places. Now, obviously, I'm going to wait until this dries, and then I have a mop brush that I have dedicated just to glitter, and I'll just gently um, blush over that to remove the excess glitter. But it's so gorgeous. Now, look what happens. Let me see if I can get this back on here real quick, and I hope you can tell the difference. I'm just going to put that back in place right there and get a little more glamour dust or um, varnish here and I'm going to put that on very carefully and lift it up maybe there we go and I'm going to take my glamour dust and do it the old-fashioned way and just gently sprinkle over top Make sure I cover it. And one thing about this, it's not covering evenly. When you shake it, it's not like that poof. It's just going to come out heavy, like, you know, you've got not a real even hand. Look how much is left over. Now, can you see the difference between, let me see here, how are we going to go this way? Okay. I gotta get this camera figured out here. Okay, this side is sprinkled real heavy. This side is where I poofed it out. Look at the difference. Now, if you want heavy coverage, you're good to sprinkle it out, but I gotta find my corner here. This is so even and just so gentle and kind of quiet and elegant. And this can be a little overwhelming. So depending on the look you're going for. However, if I want this over here to be heavier, I just poof and pump it a couple more times. And you can get a heavy cover, heavier coverage. Now I have to take this. 
kind of get it all together and funnel it back into my bottle, which sometimes can be easy and sometimes can be a disaster. I usually have a piece of tracing paper so I can get that in there really easy. Whoops, there you go, Chris, getting it all over the place. Okay, well, I got most of it in. Let me show you what I missed. There's still a good bit left that I didn't get in. So, I think you will agree, this is definitely the way to go to get some glitter on there, minimize your mess, and just really get a nice, even coverage and kind of I, I would even say it's a little more of a professional finish. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I get excited every time I use this because it has made such a huge diff excuse me, such a huge difference in the end results that it makes it so worthwhile. This is the glitter duster. And it of course is available at Covert Distributing camera kind of makes things backwards here so it has to, I have to go the opposite direction okay um, it is available online super easy to deal with super easy to maintain um, I did find out I had an old bottle of glamour dust that I had dumped out and uh, put back in the bottle and you know I, I obviously had gotten some other uh, UFOs in there because it did clog up. So if you do have trouble with your pump, it's probably something that is in there. If you uh, have a bottle of Glamour Dust that you've kind of used and put back in and used and put back in, there's a chance of other things getting in there. I wanted to show you some of the different things that I've done with the Glamour Dust, just to, other than using a stencil. Okay. So check out this little guy. I did his nose and I just used the brush um, and the, the starlight varnish to do his nose. See that little bit of glitter on his nose? I did the greenery, not the berries, and I did the berries down here. And what that does, it just kind of balances out, you know, the one, two, three thing. Um, it, it kind of helps balance it out, adds a little bit of even sparkle over it. I did use a brush for that, and this is my number five radical round that I use for everything. Um, another one that I did is the broom hair, don't care. Let me see if I can make this a little bit smaller here. All right, now I wanted to get some sparkle on this broom hair, broom dust. So what I did is I took my spectacular stencil, this is number four, and I just made little swirls very lightly with uh, the brush and then poofed a little bit of that glamour dust over top of it. What a huge difference that this made to the end product. Just really, really nice. Okay, maybe you can see a little bit better that sparkle on there. Super cool. Um, this is one that I did using the Platinum, and that's this Vintage Platinum. Really, really a pretty uh, sparkle on that. Very, it is very vintage. I also put it on, these were green, and um, I snipped them off the end of a bigger bunch of leaves, and I painted them kind of a sand color. And then I put the, uh, the vintage um, platinum over top of it. The berries were red. I painted them pink and coated them with glamour dust. Now I have glamour dust on the snowflakes. This is one of my favorite designs because it was very different. Um, but look at all the different sparkles on that. And it just really looks very professional. I was excited about that. Um, this little guy's is has uh, Jingle All the Way, which was a stencil. I hope you're picking up the sparkle on this because that is so pretty. I'm going to go just a little bit bigger here. Maybe that will help. Okay, so I added the sparkle on the Jingle. But, you know, just one place, sometimes you need a little bit more. 
and I did. I just put a little bit on that greenery there just to help balance it out just a touch. This one, the only place I put it on were the, the snowflakes. I just need that little bit, such a, a pale um, palette that I, it needs that sparkle to kind of make it really stand out. And even on a bigger piece, and this is one that I used a stencil, and the only thing that I sparkled were the letters. And let me see if I can get yeah, get this on there. Um, has a lot going on out here, but the center needed to have some focus, um, but not, not to overwhelm the design. So the only place I added the sparkle was on the actual letters. And I, I did use a stencil for that. Okay. So there's our, those are a few examples of how to use glitter, glamour dust and this wonderful glitter duster that I just absolutely think is great. I'm going to get that back over there. Again, available at Cupboard Distributing. Just a super tool. I love my glitter duster. It's quick, it's handy, it's fun, elevates painting to a new level. And no longer do I dread adding glitter. And uh, not that I miss the sparkle all over myself and my house, but I tell you what, it just really helps keep that down 95%. So, if you want to attain a professional glitter application, this is what you need to get. So, I want to thank you for joining me today. Keep an eye out for upcoming tips, tricks, and techniques. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Create with Chris. This is Chris Hoy from Cupboard Distributing, signing off.